What is up, everyone? It's Andy with another episode of Let's Talk Magic, the podcast show. This time we did things a little bit different because we didn't want to spoil any of the fun and the surprises that came with the new trailer, Spider-Man No Way Home. So a couple of friends and myself got together a day after and started to talk about it and give our opinions and our thoughts and our hopes for the film. So take a look. That's like the first time I watch it and I still get chills, man. Every time. Yeah. So what do you guys think about the trailer? Where's Toby? I... <laughs> <laughs> Where's Andrew? Where's Toby? Where's, Toby? Where's Andrew? Where's Miles, man? Where's Miles at? We need Miles. We need everybody. Just throw Miles. I mean, there everybody. I, I mean, I couldn't expect Miles. They they did tease him in the the in the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Homecoming. Um, oh, they did. His too. uncle. His uncle's already in it, so it's like. Well, it's, I feel like it's only a matter of time, but uh, we'll see. Don't know they yet. Have to introduce his character first, right? Because I forgot he's a. He would play like I think he's like a like a villain or antihero. Oh uh, yeah, he's a. Uh... Who his uncle? Yeah, the uncle. Yeah, his uncle's the the prowler, so he's like a the bit. prowler. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like that's something that they can definitely set up, because uh, you know there's another trilogy coming, uh, so that's something that they can set up uh, when Peter's in college already. Uh, they can start to introduce Miles, and then Miles can take over. But I don't know. I'm getting it too far ahead at this point. <laughs> that actually would be pretty a pretty good like a trilogy. yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys saw too at the end of the trailer they were advertising the the PS5 uh, Miles yeah. Morales yeah. game. Yeah, it's- I feel like <laughs> they, yeah. they know it's what they're doing. The trailer, it's not even like an, an mm-hmm. add-on of like on YouTube, right? It's no. of the trailer. Right. So it, I don't know. I'm not. I'm like I said. I think I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's there's a lot to look forward to in the know. Spider-Man what, universe. What, what I'm thinking too is that you know not only like the, they show like a lot of the villains, but of course I mean there's going to be villains coming through. There has to be a lot of like heroes, and I'm not I'm not just talking about like just you know Toby and Andrew. Like what do they do? Same thing they did with the Miles Morales movie. With they they show like Peter Porker or like uh, Spider Man Noir. I feel like they'd be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Pretty you, cool. Know, you know what's interesting today? I was on Twitter looking at you know just different Spider Man things, and I don't know if you guys have seen What If. But um, yeah. Uh, what's what's what, oh, the Watcher, right? That's his name. The uh, Watcher. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys could tell in the last clip of the if, of the video, but there was like purple, um, like crystal looking things in yeah. the sky. Mm-hmm. I, I think you probably saw it too on Twitter. Um, they're saying like, hey, maybe he might be in the movie too, like live action version. He's like watching over because you know the whole point of what if is viewing different dimensions and and alternate universes. So. I don't know. They could definitely tie it into this movie. Well, I mean, also, if if you take a, a look at Loki, of course, and the the start of the multiverse, that kind of, I, I kind of got that sense with you know those purple, um, whatever you want to call them, holes or whatever. Um, the time I, I, I mean, I've I've seen. I, and we'll talk about our own theories and what we think and what we would like to see. But uh, I've been seeing a lot of people saying Galacticus, like could be or. Uh, yeah that that could be it uh someone even like zoomed in on the poster and supposedly like you could see his helmet i i (laughs) i think that's reaching a little too far i think we're getting too far yeah i think it's a stretch Um, oh you know what it's mephesto they might tease it because i mean we need a new villain right because you know thanos yeah you need need a huge well huge multiverse travel they're throwing Kang the Conqueror. Of course, He's Kang has been introduced. Yeah. Loki, so that's someone else. But mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think that we would see him in this movie. I mean, it would be no. crazy if we introduced another villain of that level. But I, I mean, it is Marvel. I mean, you're having Eternals, you're having Shang Chi, you're having all these superheroes. Like you have, I think you we're getting a lot more superheroes than we did in the first ten years, right? And oh, hundred percent. We're talking yeah. more about. Heroes that live in space that have actual like su- supernatural powers, right? So like obviously they're gonna deal up with something bigger and stuff like that. Um, but so something I want to talk about is speaking about reaching far out is that scene where uh, Tom Holland Spider Man is reaching out to MJ. You're gonna read my mind, I'm sure. <laughs> <It's definitely laughs> a parallel. Yeah, <laughs> we know. Yeah. With 
Andrew Garfield. Well, it, it has to be like. And so, uh, a lot of people are saying, myself included, that Andrew Garfield would be swooping in and saving saving MJ. But if we know, someone always. Well, I want to say always. Mostly, actually, I think always. Someone dies very close to Spider Man, right? Mm-hmm. And well, a lot of people are forgetting that he doesn't just have MJ; he has Ned. And if you see in that scene, Ned is hanging by a pole. And if you remember, Doctor Strange says you can't save everyone. And so, he, oh, so might be clearly, thing. he reached. He's reaching out for MJ, right? And so, I'm thinking the next scene would be Andrew Garfield swoops in and saves MJ. Turns around, he sees that Ned is still hanging by a pole, and then I think Ned would die. I mean, that's just- well, I think it's interesting because I think Ned in like uh, the comics, he, he becomes like, it's kind of like, a, is he the, he's not, is he the Hobgoblin? Yeah, so Ned, right? for a minute, he was the Hobgoblin. So yeah. what if there's an, I mean, it's it's the multiverse, right? So what if one of the villains they introduced, it's it's Ned from a different dimension that's actually the Hobgoblin. Well, there is that scene, yeah, that's right. there is that scene, yeah. right? Of, of right, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like yeah. mm-hmm. It doesn't look like Green Goblin, it looks like Hobgoblin. Because there's alternate universe like Spider Man's, it has. I mean, yeah. who's to say there can't be an alternate Ned or an alternate MJ that shows up? I'm not oh. saying it will, but like it'd be it'd be an interesting take. And I think I did see something online that said like uh, the actor, um, he's like you like lost a lot of weight or something like that for like a role for something like that. Like, he's actually losing a lot of weight. Yeah, mm-hmm. So like I mean, could it be for like you know for something like this? Like I don't know. Well, they also said, well, I read too, it can also be maybe James Franco's Goblin, mm-hmm. you know. That'd be cool. That'd be crazy. James I'm not sure if they'll have James Franco in it. I mean, like, if they keep him masked, uh, masked up, I mean, you won't even know, but I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, even in, in Spider-Man 3 with Toby's, it was just pure, it was just a mask covering his face. And then he would just, what, retract it, and then he'll show his face. So it's they like might not even show <laughs> yeah, the pain moments. They might not even show the face if it's actually him. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then also, and so talking about like mask and uncovering and, and stuff like that, who's to say that, you know, Toby and Andrew are actually in the film, in, in, in the trailer already, or even Miles Morales in the, in the black suit spider that because they're, they're covered, right? So Spider Man wears a mask. Who's to say that's not them already? See. That suit I find really interesting because I mean I'm sure you noticed, but like on his right hand he has like the Doctor the Strange, dark, yeah. mm-hmm. like uh, his like chest, visual. And on his chest, I just noticed it right now we're watching. It, he has like a screen, and I think you see MJ and Ned. So it's kind of I think it's like a TV monitor or something like that. I don't know if it has anything to play with it, but I saw that very interesting that I just saw it right now. But that suit is, uh, I have questions about that suit. Like, you know. I- I think that suit was mostly made by Doctor Strange because it has the incantations on the arm, like you said. Yeah. So I'm sure he put that on there so he doesn't go through like all the training to know how to like send them back to their own universe. That's why he made him a suit mm-hmm. that helps them send them back to the universe, their own universes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been talking about a lot about what we've seen and stuff like that on Twitter. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen, or if you haven't seen, the Sony Brazilian Twitter account. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, for those who don't know about the Sony Brazilian account and what was essentially leaked, is that in their trailer, on Twitter, not on YouTube, you have to go on their Twitter account. I, don't, I actually didn't even check today if it's still up there. Um, I will check right now. <laughs> but, there is the scene where you have Tom Holland Spider Man launching at Sandman, uh, uh, Electro. Electro, and the Lizard, and <laughs> oh, sorry, Alexa. Uh, I wish I could bring it up, but I'll br- I'll bring it up, and then you see the Lizard getting turned around, either kick, punch, or something like that. And first of all, from our trailer or for the rest of the trailers, we saw that there's different levels that they're being launched at, right? The lizard clearly looks like he's being launched at a lower level. And then Electro looks like at a higher level, right? And so it looks like Tom Holland is launching at Sandman. And so we've, we kind of already speculated that, okay, they probably just 
took him out of that scene, but they're probably in that scene. And then we see the Sony Brazil account with the lizard getting kicked. Now, some people are saying it's Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's John Cena. It's John Cena. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I mean, th- that that's I mean, I don't know if they're teasing or something like that, or if someone just lost a job because they. No, said, it's definitely it, yeah, it's definitely not uh, intentional. And you know, I just checked, and it's still there. It's still there. I think I think I think they're on. Uh, no, I wouldn't say thin ice with this tweet. Because you delete it, if you delete it, you know, mm-hmm. you get rid of evidence. And if you leave it up, then, I mean, this is like truly, it's weird. It, 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 there's no real win in, in this yeah. in this scenario for Sony. Yeah, because if, if you take it off, then the first people are going to say, oh, it is that. That's why they're taking it off, right? But if you leave it, you still leave it open for speculations. Like, eh, maybe not. It might be Doctor Strange that's fighting alongside Tom Holland or some other superheroes that come across because I don't know if it's just the order that they placed it in the trailer, but first we see Tom Holland against uh, all of the uh, of his own villains and uh, all the other Spider-Man villains, actually. It's not even his own villains. And then we see a scene of Doctor Strange saying, I can't stop them. They're coming through. But if we already saw that the villains were there, who else is coming through? Right? Obviously, the first thing we speculate is it's, it's a villain or someone else, but it could very well be other superheroes, right? I mean, who's the same? It's, de- it's, it's definitely the Spider-Man. I mean, I think they know. I think they know what they got. They know we know. <laughs> they know we know. They know we know. Hey, it's a fact, it, it, you know? Knows, you know. I, I know. I feel but, like but, but, people... But, go ahead, right, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say real quick, uh, you know... We've seen Tobey Maguire out out and about, and he's very nonchalantly like just responding to a lot of people on the street. And you have Andrew Garfield, who's having such a hard and difficult time, you know, because he, he has a, a movie that he's in right now. Mm-hmm. It, it's everyone's just asking him about Spider Man, and I think he knows that we all know, we all we all know. So you can't bring the villains without bringing the heroes. That's how I see it. Yeah. I mean, it just didn't. It just would not make sense. I mean, I mean, it would. I mean, it would. But you, this is the fan service Spider-Man that we've all been waiting for. Yes, I mean, the way I see it, it's like you know the the direct the director, the people that work on the film, whatever. They're probably just as into Spider-Man or Marvel as like any other person. Is. And I mean, as fans, they know what you know what we want to see. So for them not to. If, for example, if Toby and Andrew weren't in this film, then it would just be a major disappointment, yeah. you know, because I mean, like, it's kind of like nothing was promised, but like, you know, what, like, you know, what is a disappointment in a sense? Because we would we, we were we were expecting it. So it's kind of like they, they know what they're doing and they're just teasing us. They just don't want to like, you know, it's it's a marketing thing, too. They just they don't want to like throw it out there. They They love when people speculate. They love when people like, you know you know, make videos and everything, talking about it and whatnot, it's, it's all hype. Yeah. And, you know, the reveal is not official yet, you know, it leads for more speculation, at least for more, you know, more hype. Yeah. Go, and uh, Eddie brought up uh, the point, you know, you can't bring the villains without the Spider-Mans, right? And in a, in a way, that's true, because what beef do they have with Tom Holland's Spider-Man? They don't, they don't have any beef. Even even at the beginning, you know, uh, Doc Ock obviously was like, oh, you know, hello, Peter, right? But he was covered, right? So he thought that that's his Peter, right? And so they were going at it. But then he when he realized that it, he's not his Peter Parker, right? It's funny how he says, you're not Peter Parker. It's like, well, yes, I am, but I'm not your Peter Parker. Then there there was there actually no beef. I think there's a scene where, like, uh, I, w- I don't think they were necessarily fighting uh, along each, each other but the doc Ock got uh, blown up by a a green goblin bomb in in the trailer mm-hmm. and so uh, so the, the thing is okay so did, did he is he teaming up with tom holland spider-man right and right because he really yep. he, that's not his that's not his spider-man that's not his peter parker but then exactly. we have the the, the the major scene right the selling scene where all the villains are fighting against tom holland do they have at that point right like what is yeah 
this this seems like uh well i was just there's just so many different things to unpack seriously you know like like you're saying um on the freeway it's like green goblin is there and and dr octopus is there mm-hmm. confirmed we know that um and it really seems like it's like spider-man versus dr strange uh because it seems like like you're saying it seems like tom holland and um dr octopus are like teaming up to try and work out a plan to save everyone that was transported you know to these to this uh universe now and of course i don't know if you've seen we've all seen venom which i'm pretty sure we all know at least what happens you know we know that venom is aware of of peter parker now so not saying that he's in the movie i think he's probably an end credits uh scene too uh but I, I feel like there's a lot of misdirection that we're seeing right now. There's a lot of stuff that they're intentionally intentionally misleading us to believe too. Um, but it did it does seem like it's like Doctor Strange versus Spider Man, and really those three villains too from um, well, it's uh, Sandman and then two from uh, the Amazing Spider Man uh, movies that are going up against Tom Holland and supposedly <laughs> CGI people. <laughs> Like going back to what you were saying about the like you know CGI trailers and everything, I'm thinking. Remember, like in it was it was it end it was it was Infinity War was it End Game? No, it was a, it was Infinity War where they they showed was it the Hulk fighting right in Wakanda, and then in the actual movie it was him it was um mm. Bruce Banner in the in the Hulkbuster suit. Yeah, so who's to say they're not trying to do something right now? Like, oh, they, know, they're, they're, it's, oh. there's something in there that, you know, they're just trying to mislead us. They're, they're just lying about. Yeah, the, yeah it 100% you know, is. They're 100% president. is. I mean, also also with, um, what was it, Civil War, when they first introduced Tom Holland, in the trailer, you know how they lined up? Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. see Spider-Man okay. until the movie, you see him lined up with Iron Man and his his group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then so, also, yeah, because... Yeah, Infinity War, right? When they're walking to what it turns out to be the the time machine we counted the the silhouettes and it didn't line up to the actual movie silhouette so so they're throwing all these curveballs mm-hmm. right so it, it, even though you know we see them we don't know for sure until christmas day comes around yeah. and we sit down yeah. and we actually watch yeah <laughs> <laughs> literally yeah i yeah, just want to say like i'm i'm glad that they brought the classic look for look for electro back yes oh yeah that looks so yes. cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Happy they're doing that. And they brought back a. Uh, he was the, the, um, the, uh, the, the Green Goblin, the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Like you know, yeah. it's the classic suit. I mean, I want to say classic, but like the, the movie we grew up with. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. Yeah, because a lot of people, a lot of people hate that suit too. They hated it when it, when the movie came out. They just they're like, it's terrible. I, I mean, we love it. It's nostalgia too. Um, but yeah, I, th- I, I just. I just could not understand Electro's, uh, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2's design. I just, I, yeah. it just not good, not good at all. So the callbacks to it when, when he's sparking up, amazing. Yeah, I think it's because the, I think they're trying to base off that one off like the ultimate Spider-Man comic version. Because in that one, he's all blue, like once he gets his full power up. So that's like his uncontrolled version, uh, of I see like full power. So this yeah, was more I, compressed. Yeah, I just I I don't think they pulled it off well. To be yeah, honest, no. <laughs> they didn't. Um, but it's cool. I mean, it's cool that they tried. But it's so great that they're changing it up. Yeah, he needed it. Yeah, and also I think with that other goblin too, they might. There's I think I heard I read as well that it might be Andrew Garfield's Green Goblin. I I did hear that as well. Uh, yeah, I see. It was uh, that, his his Harry, right? Yeah, his Harry. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Then, yeah, because okay. he did say because Doctor Strange did say like every villain dies fighting Spider Man, and I think everyone but Sandman. I don't know Sandman lived, but everyone but him. I think he died. did. Yeah. Yeah, he left. No, I think him. I think him and li- Sandman didn't lizard. Did, no, Sandman didn't lizard. Die. No, that's what we're saying. And didn't lizard not die either too? No, he died at the end. Oh, he died. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, the only one that survived was Sandman because uh, yeah. the last thing he's, okay. he just went into the wind. Yeah, he just said bye and yeah. sorry and left. Yeah. 
Uh, my daughter. <laughs> you know what's crazy that you know what's crazy that I was thinking about too. They have to. I, I don't know how they're gonna do this, but they're gonna recreate the shots from like the original movies and have like some type of like portal thing. So we'll we'll see. You know, Doctor Octopus like you know drowning, and then it'll be like some type of like crazy vortex that like since I can't I can't wait to see that that. I don't know how they're going to do that, but but that is going to be so fun to see. I'm thinking, too, that, you know, at the end of, like, you know, the Spider-Man 2, like, that's when, like, he's in control, right? Like, he he is, like, kind of, like, closing his, like, his character arc where, like, you know, he's realizing, like, oh, I was bad all along. I need to save people. I need to drown the sun. You know, that that thing. So, like, I don't see why he would be fighting Spider-Man if he would get pushed through, through, like, a portal when he's drowning. So yeah. like, and plus his arms are different too. Like they're red, yeah. right? So I'm assuming it's. I mean, is he even from Toby's like you know universe? The same actor, but I mean, it's. I it's, think. I don't know. I think yeah. I think they're they're being brought in from like right before they die or something like, like the moment they might die or something. Yeah. And I think yeah, because now you see well with the trailer you see the his uh, tentacles like being in sync they move with him on like towards like spider-man 2 towards the end like he takes right. control yeah he takes it uh-huh. and this and this one they're moving at the same at the same way like the way they turn they both turn mm-hmm. and then with the whole red tentacles it's probably he he's probably stole the nanotech suit from to, uh tom holland some, uh, t- somehow yep yeah, that's what i was gonna say i think he, i think that's the theory that he, he stole it from the nano suit uh, mm. Which essentially still would be then Iron Man. Iron Man still involved somehow in this <laughs> film. <laughs> Stealing a dead man's tech, man. Dang. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's funny, man. So, uh, so obviously this is the second trailer. I I don't think we're gonna get a, another trailer after this until the movie comes out. Uh, I, at least I haven't seen anything about that. Um, but we talked about it a little bit. Now I just want to get your guys' opinion on just. The Spider Verse in general, right? Who is the best Spider Man? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Like with in the MCU, like or like the so, live action Spider Mans that we've seen, yeah, or yeah, yeah. So in, uh, in this movie, because uh, I mean, it, it's kind of safe to say, you know, you might see Andrew Gar. Oh, but well, you have the villains from three different uh, Spider Mans, right? So you have Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Tom Holland, right? So live action Spider Mans, right? Who is the better of the three? Let's 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 break it down to categories. Who is the best Peter Parker? Man, oh, <laughs> it's like you're you're trying to narrow it down, and it, dude, you, you, you try to narrow it down, and it still makes it hard. Like that's the that's the tough part about this. I don't know. I don't want to be blinded by nostalgia either, and say Toby. Yeah, but I mean, I, I I do love his Spider Man. I love how it's. I mean, I'm not gonna say I read I read the comics because I didn't, you know. So I don't know, like you know, oh, he represents, you know, you know, he oh he he's more similar to a high school student or whatever like that. I think in that sense, you know, Tom Holland, mm-hmm. you know, just because like he he looks young, he looks like a kid. He he yeah. looks like you know he's he's like you know like going through high school, going through all that, you know. Whereas you know, Toby obviously looked. He looks like he's an adult. He looks older. And, you know, we, yeah. we don't really experience so much high school Spider-Man in, um, because, you know, he graduates in the first one. So I think, I don't know. It's, and, it's, and it's tough. And- I, I think I can say for sure that I would put Toby and um, Tom, Tom Holland over. I think I think I think I think we're all gonna. Oh yeah, I think we lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I think to be fair, uh, I think we're all gonna not have like Andrew Garfield yeah. high. I think Andrew will probably be the lowest. We're really, really, we're going up against Toby and Tom. And like Jose was saying, it's like you, when I used to watch that movie as a kid, I would see them in high school and I'd be like, wow, like they're they're so old. And I look back at them now. I'm like, wow, they do look old for high schoolers. <laughs> so, and and um, we've seen already in in both uh, both of the previous um, um, sagas, I guess, uh, that 
they both already have graduated from high school. Not not um, in you know the beginnings, right? Like in the first movie of Spider Man, um, what's it called? Uh, Tobey Maguire isn't graduated yet, so he's still in high school and stuff. We haven't seen um, Tom Holland get to that point yet, where he's going to graduate. Maybe um, presumably this movie he will, or he's going to start to get ready to graduate. Um, so we've seen a lot more high schooler, which is, I think, how we, you know, typically see Spider-Man. We t- typically think of him, like, as a high schooler. Um, I mean, there's a lot more stories that go beyond just high school, of course, with Spider-Man. In, especially in college, too. It's a big, there's a lot, there's a lot more story to go. But I think, I think the best Peter Parker, I know this is tough, but I, I would say Tom Holland. Because, like I said, I think... He he fits a high schooler so mu- so much better, so much better, and it's more it's it's a lot more it feels a lot more real than uh, not not to discredit uh, Toby because I love those movies, but I would say it's a lot more real to what how uh, maybe a more realistic high school experience might be with the the kids. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like the Raimi films just because like they're so memey. You know, like you can make so many memes out of like the Tobey Maguire, film, right? <laughs> but it just true. You know, like I love on going on YouTube and seeing the Bully Maguire like yeah. <laughs> videos, like one hundred percent, one hundred. Like you know, and like at the end of the day, like I I enjoy those movies. It's not, it's not just nostalgia. Like I like the I I I like them a lot. Sure, Spider Man Three kind of got a you know was kind of a mess. Like you know with. Yeah. Like they introduced Venom like at like the last minute or something like that. You know, it was just like kind of like yeah. I wish they would have they would have given like Venom like a proper like introduction or like a proper arc because it, they just like sure like there was Eddie Brock and stuff like that, but I would have liked it. Oh, you know, they teased it like at the end, you know, and and credits or something like that. But no, they just threw him in there and that's it. Yeah, for so, those there's definitely stuff they could have done better, but I think I very much have enjoyed the Tom Holland. Um like you know spider-man universe ish the mcu so yeah I, I i i think i can agree with eddie i think i've enjoyed um tom holland's a lot like i could i could see him as you know being the better spider-man not by a lot but <laughs> best peter parker though peter parker, peter parker yeah peter. i think it's because of he's he's more like quirky in a way like yeah unlike toby Maguire, he he starts to get serious like like you said he just in the first movie he's graduating high school he's going off into college you know he's right. he's going to adulthood basically unlike with tom holland it's like you still have the high school you still have the high school like attitude like especially with the little quips he gives you know that's the majority of how people see spider-man especially in the comics you know and in cartoon Oh, we lost you, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it froze for a bit. Your, your oh. thousand megabytes, whatever, is not working. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's unstable like, right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. no, but yeah, like he has his quips, you know, and I think Tom Holland is the one who's used it the most as Peter Parker. Mm-hmm. I think they just acknowledge, or well, like, I think people just acknowledge the fact that, like, the. Tobey Maguire films were so good though because they they bring characters back like they bring they they brought back was it um uh, yes. lost, it <laughs> lost him now there you go yeah they bring back J.K. Simmons <laughs> yeah you know oh and, my gosh you know, it's yes. just I think you know it's not just nostalgia I mean part of it is but like we enjoy those films we we enjoyed you know everything like that if we did if if Tobey Maguire wasn't a good Spider Man then we wouldn't be enjoying it as much. Like we wouldn't be like freaking out about the trailer as much as we are, you know? Um, what's his face? Uh, J.K. Simmons is is J. Jonah Jameson. I mean, that that is like the perfect casting. It, even screw everything we said about best Peter Parker. That is the best <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson. I, I, I'm I, so I, glad. I agree. <laughs> I am so glad that they brought him back, even if they didn't do the multi multiverse. Because when we saw the movie, when we saw Far From Home, we had no idea that they were going to do you know multiverse. When we just saw him on screen at the end credit scene, to, to me, if they just went with that for the next movie, super hype would have been super duper hype. It, even if it was no multiverse, that is the perfect casting ever. 
and it's crazy too because remember i was in uh I, I was watching it in korea when i was over there when the movie came out and it's funny because the 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 people in the theater within korea even they freaked out like they're like you know everyone loves it you know like they were they were just like they even know who he is you know so like it's i think it's just a uh, probably like a global consensus like you know he, jk simmons just kills it <laughs> yeah, kills it because mostly everyone grew up with that with sam raimi's uh spider yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well okay well uh i kind of in line, in line with it, all, all y'all I, I think uh tom holland's uh slightly better peter parker i would think because of the look as a actual high schooler and i think uh, especially towards the later portions of of toby's uh spider-man movies he was a little bit weird. Not so. I know I, Peter Parker is kind of like a you know a nerd. He's a geek. He's quirky, but he's not weird. And it got a little bit weird with Toby at, towards the end. So I, I would give Tom Holland the edge just a little bit on that. Um, but now let's talk about the suit. Which which Spider Man has had the best suit? Oh. <laughs> Let me see them real quick. I'm gonna look. Well, well, you know, you know, it's tough too for Toby because he didn't have as many variations. Uh -huh. You know, he had his original suit, and then they changed it up for the second movie. But only, it's only in the finer details that we can notice it. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much that it's almost identical to the first suit. Um, and then we have the Spider-Man Three suit, which I love that suit. I, I absolutely love that suit. Um, Is that the one that has like? The but yeah, I, on the outside. Well, it's like the no. Well, it's just like the black. I'm talking about the black suit, oh, like the, the venom suit. One. Okay. Um, I love that one. I mean, because I just love venom too, so I feel like I have like a, a bias towards that, which is why I love, which I love the uh, the uh, Tom Holland black suit too, just because we kind of get getting some type of you. Know, we're getting a black suit, you know, so we're getting some venom vibes. Of course, don't think he's in the movie. I think he's in a post credit scene, but um, that is tough. That is tough. You know, I, I, I'm not, I'm no, wasn't, was never a big fan of um, the Andrew Garfield suit, how it like kind of went down like that. Mm. I didn't, his I never first, really liked that. From his first movie? I, yeah, I, I liked the uh, Tobey Maguire suit. Not, 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 not necessarily the black one. I, I love the black one, but I think, I, I think I even like his suit more than uh, Tom Holland's. Although um, I freaked out when I saw the Iron Spider suit. You know, because I was like, oh, yes. it's, they're doing Iron Spider. So that that was yes. that was freaking awesome. I love that. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, it would be the the Tobey Maguire Spider Man suit. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that too. I think yeah. it's I don't know. It felt more. It just I don't know. It stood out. You know, like he like how he drew it up, and then actually like making it. I was like, damn, like that's that's cool. Like. I like the details of the webbing, like it's all, you know, silver and like stuff, and like it's not just lines. Like it's mm -hmm. you got, he has all the details in it. The the wrestling suit's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that no, that suit is unironically so sick. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> um, <laughs> what 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 I will say too is I don't think it's as fair to the other spiders because Tom Holland gets so many variations of uh, his suit. Yeah, uh, he's he's gotten more than any of them um i don't know i as as much as i probably know that uh toby's is probably the best i do love that the eyes the eye detail on um on tom holland's i agree because they move up and down and stuff and that, i feel like that's something that i know spider-man to to have you know like the eyes moving and then he also has the uh the webbing on mm -hmm. like on the uh underarm yeah. that's really really cool Oh, the more I'm talking about it, now I'm thinking of Tom Holland's. I, I love the. I, I, go ahead. Sorry. I love the I love the red and black suit. Uh, the one he's been wearing, he, he's going to wear in the film too. Suit is sick. Suit suit is so sick. Um, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I I do agree with you with the with the eyes. I thought I remember was watching the trailer for um, was it for Civil War? Mm -hmm. uh, seeing the eyes, I kind of squint. I'm like that's like that's like classic spider that, that's like the cartoons you know like seeing like his eyes like squint or go up when he's surprised and everything like that i'm like that's so cool that they did that so i do love that um about um tom holland suit i still think i like toby Maguire's suit more though yeah in, I, in, I, in, I, in I think i like toby's 
if we take out the eyes, I think Toby Toby's suit, just the detail, and you know, it was the first spider suit that we saw. I, I think it was. I think that one is first, and then the detailing of Tom Holland's and all that stuff would would come in a very close second for me. But I think Toby's Toby's is. I mean, the nostalgia like it like just kicks in, and, and it's pretty pretty sick. The detailing and all that stuff and whatnot. I know. I wish I had that suit because it's a pretty sick suit. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I mean, the movie is to be released in a little bit over a month now, Christmas Day. I know all four of us are anticipating to be there on opening opening day at yes, midnight. Sir. Uh, just, just to see 100%. all the theories that will confirm our <laughs> our hopes and our beliefs that things will happen. But I'm also I'm just really excited to see what they are actually going to put out there. So, uh, just really quickly, let's just go around. What are your final hopes and thoughts about the movie? What are your hopes for the movie? What are your final hopes for the movie? Aside from, you know, having Tom Holland, I mean, Toby and Andrew Garfield in it. What are, what is, what is, what is your hopes for the movie? I, I, I do have one specific thing and it's kind of like a meme on Twitter, but I, I, I would love it if they reference the freaking, um, the black, the black suit and tie dance that Toby does. <laughs> I would love it if they would just reference it just a little bit, even if it's just a, a quick nod, if they would just show it a little bit like in the movie. And it, it would be hilarious if, like, you see, like, um, Tom Holland just, you know, just just dancing and everything like that. And, and then, like, Peter Parker, I'm sorry, uh, Tobey Maguire looking at him like, like, oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> 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 something like that. I'd be, I feel like that'd be really cool. And I, and, I, and I do feel that they will do something like that because, like I said, the, the creators, the, the people, like, running, you know, running the movie and everything like that, they're aware of, like, the importance and like the meme culture and everything like that behind this and i know that i'm pretty positive they, they won't disappoint us with this just just a little side on that it, uh, it also comes to show how they introduced the x-men uh series that's coming to disney plus with with the actual wolverine meme <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> amazing so that's pretty funny all right, all right what, what about you uh, other jose what are your hopes for this film what are you most excited about well, I mean, I was, I guess, nervous at first when they when they first introduced like, oh, all these villains are gonna be in it because with Sam Raimi, with Toby's and Andrews, Spider Man, like their last films, like they try to throw in all these villains too, and they just it didn't pan out right. You know, it, it felt rushed, you know. But when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, they're they're doing good. So you know, I just hope it comes out like the way like more than what i'm expecting you know like i want to see tom and andrew come out in it that's for sure like there's no way they can't come out in it if they're gonna bring all these villains all their villains more than his you know the only villain he had was mysterio more than anything and the vulture and the vulture, and the vulture. Mm -hmm. that's right so i mean i, I they're doing good so for his last spider-man film i hope because you know they they have a I don't know. Excellent. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it because I mean, like, I know that like, people were speculating in the beginning. They were saying like, "Oh, we can't show Venom because Venom belongs to Sony, and we can't have this hero because the MCU doesn't have rights to it." I think it's just it's huge the fact that we're getting like all these characters that in the beginning people were saying like, "Oh, it's not possible," and now we have Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and like you know, it's just I wonder who else they'll bring. It's, it's crazy. Right? <laughs> I think they I think they're gonna merge them somehow because you know we haven't heard anything new like is Tom Holland gonna renew his contract like especially with this new animated uh series that's coming out on Disney Plus Richard here yeah there's not confirmed if he's gonna be voicing mm -hmm. you know Peter Parker or anything so you know if they you know move it to Sony see what they do like if you like pass the mantle here you go mm -hmm. Eddie your final hopes, thoughts. I'm surprised we haven't talked about this, but we're going to see Daredevil. Oh, um, oh we are, that, that, we are yeah, going yeah, to see sure. Daredevil, yeah. 100%. Um, 
I mean, people, like I said, people in the industry know. Um, there's a lot of kept secrets that we still don't know about this movie. But when it's so big that so many people are talking about it and then the actors get asked about it and they and they just can you they just know that we know. Uh he's one of the, he's one of them too. Um that's gonna be very, very cool to see Daredevil come back. Uh you know, because technically the the movie wasn't or the series wasn't canon. Uh so it's gonna be so so great to have him in the MCU. Um same with X-Men, like we were talking about too. Um but Besides, of course, Toby and Andrew, I'm just looking forward to possibly the introduction of the Sinister Six now, mm -hmm. you know? That, um, I think that's what they're planning. I think that's what uh, we're kind of seeing. Not Even if this isn't the Sinister Six as we know it, since we have Morbius coming out, uh, we know that they're working on more Spider-Man movies. We know that there's, you know, Into the Spider-Verse 2, which isn't directly correlated. Uh, you know, there's a lot to look forward to if you're a Spider-Man fan in particular. Um, this is like the Spider-Man fans, Infinity War and Endgame. Like this is a whole new event. This is something special. And I know that, you know, Disney, as, ma as many mistakes as they make sometimes that we, we get excited about and then they just go in a different direction. I think they really lock this down. I think this is going to be the best Spider-Man movie of all time. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. I yeah. definitely am. Yeah, I, I definitely think this is going to be, you know, this year's uh, uh, end game, right? With with Spider Man and all this, but really, I'm actually going to go in the contrary. I hope this is kind of like it, right? I I as much as I would like the Sinister Six to be introduced, maybe not these particular ones, but maybe other different ones, like you mentioned. But I, I, I hope would this would just be it for these these villains. It's just a one time thing because then it just makes this film that much more meaningful, right? Because if you keep bringing them back, then it's like okay, well, you know, there's, I, I think they might mess it up, like like you mentioned that you know Disney when they try to reprice things and reprice roles and stuff like that as it progresses, it just gets worse and worse and worse, right? So my hope for the film is, yes, you have, you know, all the, the Spider-Mans, you have all the villains that we've seen visually, and and that's it. Like, somehow, I don't know whether, obviously we don't know the plot of the film, well, we know the plot of the film, but somehow they get put back into their own uh, universe, which I don't think so, because uh, then what's the plot of, uh, uh, what's it called, Doctor Strange, um, the multiverse of madness you know i think that would probably be the closing point but uh i i hope for that for these villains this is it right so that way it just makes this film that much meaningful especially if this is tom holland's uh final one you know so I, that yeah would be my hope. well yeah i mean i think realistically in in the sense of uh mortality <laughs> um these these uh these actors that are playing these roles some of them are are getting older yeah. um i don't know how much longer they can you know, be, take the role. I think a one-time thing is probably best um, for all of them, just for, you know, as sad as it could be, you know, they are getting older too. Uh, so I think this is just the perfect way to cap off just all the previous Spider-Man movies that loved or hated, you know, they're, they're part of, you know, the part of our love uh, as being Spider-Man fans. Mm -hmm. It's also um, possible for them to like do the Sinister Six, but with different actors. I mean, from mm -hmm. Peter's universe, you know? True. Yeah. So they, they don't necessarily have to, have to do it with like, you know, that Doc Ock or that, you know, was, is he, was he part of the Sinister Six? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, he was yeah. a major, major part of this. Yeah. So like, you know, it, it doesn't have to be like him, like, you know, it could, they can always get like, you know, Peter, um, Peter, um sorry, what am I saying? Uh, Damn. <laughs> Not so again. <laughs> uh, you got cut off. Go. I don't know what you said. Oh my bad. <laughs> uh, so essentially, like they can get a different actor to play it, and it'll make sense because it's part of the multiverse. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I agree with like Andreas. Like this has to be, it should be it for these actor for these characters because technically they're dead, you know, in their own universes they're already dead. Like nothing else, they shouldn't be coming back like yeah. each and every time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, 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 Oh, go ahead. No, right now that you said dead, uh, it, I if you re 
recall, there's a part of the film, uh, the trailer, I mean, that Doctor Strange says, you're fighting against ghosts. What if all these villains are just ghosts? Like... <laughs> Then that'd be crazy. It, it reminds me of like WandaVision too with Vision. That's just so that's so crazy to think about when when we see like his. Uh, I know we're we're kind of going a little bit off, but when we see like his uh his body just like lifeless, it was haunting, dude. It was horrifying to see that. Um, so it's crazy, like you said, it's it's crazy because they might be. We we literally can talk about this all day. We won't know until the movie comes out. No. Uh, some people even saying that maybe uh, uh, Scarlet Witch might appear in this film as a villain or like an anti-hero type thing. So I don't know type of thing. I mean, it's just crazy. Just throw everyone in there. Just throw- yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Going to be Endgame. <laughs> Make it a six-hour movie. Like just, just go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, I I appreciate you all three for being here and talking about this. Uh, I know, like Eddie said, we could talk about this more and more and so that so. Uh, we'll definitely be talking about this when the film, when we do watch the film and soak it all in and finally what we see on screen. We're going to try to break it down and, you know, just talk about the film and whether we liked it, whether we didn't, what we, what we saw, what we didn't see. We're going to like it. We'll I'm like it. Sure we're going to oh. like it, no matter what they put. We're gonna <laughs> like it. So Christmas Day, uh, get your tickets. They go on sale November 29th. Uh, we'll definitely be up all night trying to get tickets. Um but yeah, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you and uh, have a great rest of your night. So what are your thoughts and hopes for this film? If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. We'll see you on the next episode of Let's Talk Magic, the podcast show.